Okay, guys. Two announcements. One announcement is that um, the Dog and Bumpa mangas will be separated. Um, like Trigger Happy Havoc and Goodbye Despair will be in one playlist and another episode and V3 will be in another playlist. So, yeah. The second announcement is that after this manga, I'm gonna start on another episode. Is that so? Everything makes sense now. The motive and the case of this time. Hey, why are you blaming Kuzuriyu again? Isn't the culprit... <clears throat> Isn't Pekoyama the one who killed P Big Sis Koizumi? I've said it many times already. I'm just a mere tool. That's why I'm saying it's too late now. I'm not the culprit. The culprit is Kuzuriyu, who used me as a tool to kill people. He's the true culprit who killed Koizumi. I see. Is this Pekoyama's point of view? I'm just a tool he uses. I have neither a point of view nor a motive. I also have no reason or will to kill. If, if what Pekoyama said can be considered true, didn't we make a huge mistake in a situation like this? The one who can survive is... is just me. This... this is too weird. Tool, you are the actual culprit. It's just that you couldn't know. You couldn't know that... <clears throat> in this world, there are people who live as tools, someone like me. A person living as a tool. What's the relationship between Pekoyama and Kuzuriyu? We, we were raised together since we were kids. Pekka was given to me as my hitman. My parents abandoned me soon after I was born and the Kuzuriyu family picked me up. My reason to exist is to be your master's property until I die. If the young master was being attacked, I'd be his shield and protect him. If he wanted to kill someone, I would be his sword and kill that person. This is the only reason why I'm allowed to keep living. Before I am a human being, I am the young master's tool. Th that's not right! It's not like this, Pekoyama. Because if Pekoyama is a mere tool, What's the time we've spent together till today? It's nothing. Since the young master gave me orders, I acted and treated people according to his will. Our relationship till now must not be known on this island. You're just a regular schoolgirl here. This is the order young master gave me soon after we reached this place. The young master had already told me to keep secret. He decided not to rely on his family anymore. He hates the fact that I'm a tool given to him by his family. Even so, if the young ma master intends to kill someone, I will surely be his tool. Then the truth is that <clears throat> the one who actually wanted to kill Koizumi was Kuzuriyu? It, it can't be helped. After clearing the game, I opened the prize and saw that photo. <laughs> it, 
if you see a picture of your sister's dead body in such a situation, you couldn't help but believing in it. But you actually didn't want to believe it, so you sent the boat to Koizumi to confirm, right? But then she started avoiding me and didn't reply at all. I think Koizumi must have been confused. If someone killed one of your own, you must avenge. That's how it works in the world I come from. If what that game show was true, then I must kill her for my sister. I want her to die like my sister, so I chose a male bat as murder weapon. But to tell the truth, I was scared. After I called Koizumi out, I had thought to call the whole thing off. But that woman, the fact that your sister was murdered is horrible indeed, but revenge is wrong. You're the one at fault. Nobody has the right to judge others' crime. When I heard her words, I gave up what I was thinking. I couldn't keep calm and tried to take the mail back. I was lying back at that moment. I was very nearby. Your master called me out and ordered me to kill Koizumi. It's over, young master, but... After that, the young master came up with a plan. We were also prepared in case you see through it. In order to make you mistake, we should use that story about the serial killer. We totally fell for their trap. As we planned, you made a mistake. You voted me a mere tool as the culprit and failed to find the true culprit, the young master. But wait, don't make it sound like it's already decided that we've lost. Oop, boop, boop. This Pekuyama is a mere tool. Theory does make sense. From this point of view, it's more correct to say that Kuzu Ryu is the true culprit. Is that so? To Pekuyama, hope is Kuzu Ryu, right? Killing Koizumi in Kuzu Ryu's place, not caring about the rest of us, just to protect him. If you can do something to such an extent, for his sake, it means he's your hope. No, I don't have a hope. I'm just a mere tool. Seems that it's useless to keep asking you. Must have you... Mu you must have decided to keep acting till then. Then I'll ask someone else. I say, what does Kuzuriyu think about this? <coughs> Is Pekoyama a mere tool to you? Using her as tool, you'll sacrifice the rest of us in order to survive alone. Is this your hope? C but wait, that story has nothing to do with this. Oh, why are you suddenly so nervous? It's strange to see a tool so agitated. I say, Pekoyama, aren't you actually protecting Kuzuriyu? Have your own free will. Hey Kuzuriyu, could you tell us the truth of this case? Pekoyama said that she was following your orders to kill Koizumi and that you're also the one who ordered her to impersonate a serial killer to deceive us. Is that true? <coughs> You don't have to hesitate. You just have to tell the truth, young master. It's the... Young master, the one who ordered me to. I'm just a mere tool who follows the young master's orders. You could say it's your ultimate choice, but you can't avoid losing Pekoyama either way. Will you sacrifice the rest of us to survive like she said? Or keep fighting along with us. Which one is hope to you? This one is still chapter 15. I, I, I. You, you. What have you done? You, you should know it too. What will happen if you kill someone here? 
I know it very well. That's why I had to do it. I couldn't let you do it. I'm a tool to protect the young master. Without the owner, a tool would, would have no reason to exist. Hey, Pecco. I said it all right when we came to this island. Our relationship till now never happened. Listen to me. Run away. Make it look like it's my fault. You just run away. Don't mind my business. There's nowhere to run. They might see through this case. But don't worry. I have a plan. I will make you leave this place safely. Sayanji will wake up soon. Please hurry. D darn it. Promise me you'll run away. Forget me and everything. <coughs> Forget me and everything about the Kuzui family. <laughs> You just have to run away safely yourself. Sorry, Pekka, I really can't do it. Actually, even if I were, if I really were able to survive using this plan, I couldn't think how someone like me, who isn't able to keep living without relying on something. Also, if I were to accept your method, you would really become a mere tool. Manokuma knew it since the beginning, right? You know what happened between those two? There were cameras all around at the end. This was all, all just for your amusement, huh? Oh, well, even if I say it was necessary, Pekko Yama's argument was pretty interesting. But unfortunately, the tool with the heart of a human being, Pekko Yama is the culprit. Pekko, I'm sorry that I couldn't fulfill your wish, but I, I could say that your master was too kind to be a gangster. I couldn't possibly accept if you tell me to run away. After all, weren't we raised together since childhood? Even a tool can understand something like that. So why on earth did you, even so I hope you could escape. I wanted to protect you. I'm sorry for causing trouble to the rest of you. I have a selfish request. I hope you guys can forgive the young master. But please, don't allow such murder cases to happen again. Oop, oop, oop. So, let's start the punishment for the guilty one. Young master Fuyuhiku. Could you please listen to one last selfish qu request from me? I wish you could remember. Remember that there was a tool named Pekoyama by your side, just that. Then, let's hurry and start. How many times do I have to repeat it? I don't need any tool. I is that so? It's weird you've always been by my side, so why can't you understand? I don't need any sword or shield. I also don't need any tools, so... So like I said, let's uh, You just had to be yourself. What I needed was not a tool, it was you. Your master. Why? Why can't you understand even this, Pekko? Don't go. I still need you. Don't leave me alone. Punishment time. Now starting. Your master. Actually, I really wanted to protect you. Sorry. P Pekko, I, I, I. Actually, I really wanted to protect you. Sorry. Uwa! H hell, even Kuzuiyu. Wait, P, this outcome is so unfortunate. That's why I say that you should discuss with me first. This is just like the best 
Chef, Chief cooking with the most ingredients. You know, can you keep saying something like that? You, how can you keep saying something like that? One of our mates has been killed. Don't you feel even a bit sorry? Of course, I'm sad. I'm so wrecked that I'm about to despair. But this despair is nothing but a stepping stone to make hope shine brighter. The larger the stepping stone is the bright so we will shine. It should be obvious. Humph. You dare calling me Stepping Stone? You say pretty interesting things, huh? Oop, oop, oop. You reminded me of that person. Especially because of that twisted sense of hope. I don't know what you are talking about. Anyway, I'll just say this. The... Hope of these high school level students will definitely crush you. Be prepared to be destroyed without leaving any trace. That's your fate. If if I'm not mistaken, he's he's still alive. E everyone, Kuzu Ryu is still alive. What? What really? Kuzu Ryu? Manakuma, the execute one should be the culprit alone, right? You can't execute Kuzuriyu too. For heaven's sake, I have no choice. Even I can't go against the rules. Okay, okay, I'll save him. Rename, remaining people, 12. Kameda. Ah, it seems that the screening has ended. Kameda, can I have my questionnaire back, please? Is there anything to question about? The last few minutes felt like weeks. The con content was so boring that it was almost a torture. It wasn't anything like a motive. It was disappointing on so many levels. How to say it? If it does not challenge Common sense, it can't be called out. Ah, uh, if I could have paid money to avoid this experience, I would have gladly done so. Kameda, just asking, but if you could avoid seeing it by paying 150 M, what will you do? Of course I'd be willing to pay. I is that so? That's right, that's right. Hanada, he has spent 150M to buy the Monokuma sticker in order not to see it. He's so stubborn. A sticker for 15M? It's nothing. Don't mind that. it. By the way, Hanada, are you exploring the new island? I mean, are you exploring... Ration of the new island going well? Not really. I still haven't found any clue to get away from this place. Hanada, you must not give up. No matter what kind of despair is in front of you, I mean, of us, we must keep moving forward. Because this is the attitude hope should have. How is that hope? You're planning something against us again, right? I just know that the only thing I can do now is Doing my best. Kuzuriyu's condition is also worrying. If we make no progress here, we don't know if he will manage to come back. Don't worry. Kuzuriyu will surely come back. Because the defeat that despair called Pekoyama's death and 
turned into a Noah's map for hope. You stop saying those things. Then I'll go checking the electric town now. Sorry guys, my ear. Mm, mm. What's wrong, Sonya? Ah, Kameda. I found some computers which haven't run out of battery yet. If we manage to connect to the internet, we could call for help. But it seems we can't. It's very difficult. It makes sense. There's no way we could connect so easily. It can't be out. Then I'll take a look in the electronics store nearby. Oh? Is something wrong? No, I just found a weird file here. You saw me X file. The writing is formal. It looks like a sort of report. This. But no matter what we did, we weren't able to stop them from unconditionally destroying everything. They weren't destroying with no reason. They were following a precise evil plan. That's why it was utterly despair inducing. The hi high school peak of hope sound of the world with a long history now announces that the surviving students are forced to kill each other in a despair. The rest is garbled. I can't read any further. This must be a joke, right? <clears throat> the worst most despair inducing incident in the history of mankind. The students of the preparatory school destroyed Hope's Peak Academy. Lies, even if it's a prank, it's not something one should joke about. That's true, that's an important screen. You guys have to think about it carefully. Monokuma! Monokuma, there should be a limit to how bad a joke can be. Kameda, you think that's something I made up? I wrote about the preparatory school. They're different from the two SHSL students. Those are just people with no talent who couldn't be accepted through normal ways. In other words, they're second class students, right? Normal people with no talent, revolting against the embodiments of hope. No matter how you look at it, it's just a force. This can't be true. But what I'd like to ask is, when you say surviving students, are you referring to us? Wait, guys. Okay, so chapter 17 was translated. It's just the last pages of chapter 16. Hanada, you certainly took your time. You're the last one here. There are a series of hospital rooms in the hall up ahead. You'll find the others in the room on the end. Aren't you coming too? Sonya is quite the princess, isn't she? It's amazing how she was kind enough to ask a nobody like me to accompany the rest. She truly understands the hearts of the masses. But I'm not big-headed enough to blithely tag along just because I received an invitation. Just me being there would spoil this very special touching moment and we can't have that now can we touching moment hanada i'm jealous of you but where'd that come from just think you seem perfectly comfortable hanging out with everyone even though you have no idea what your ultimate talent is wouldn't that mean you possess the ultimate self-confidence are you being sarcastic why, n no, don't take it the wrong way. 
I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hold you up with my worthless prowling. I guess you'd best be off now. Well, I'm so happy Kuzui you is going to be okay. I am also relieved his life is not in danger. I asked Monokuma for permission to look at his medical chart. The sword wound penetrated clear from his stomach to his back without injuries. Any organs, nerves, or bones. It's practically a miracle he was so lucky. Perhaps not. I'm not so sure luck played a role. Seeing as Pekoyama was the ultimate swordswoman and the one who desperately wanted to protect Kuzuriyu, I think she struck with exactly the position she intended. Yeah, that sounds more plausible to me. I've been so stressed over Kuzuriyu. Now that we know he's going to be alright, I think we should join for today. Did Kuzuriyu seem well? Kameda, Sumiki thinks if he doesn't suffer any complications, he should be up on his feet in a week or so. But he's going to lose the use of one eye. I see, huh? What's with that nasty scowl? It's not like you have to stay on your toes around me. Who's to say I'm not about to let you... Staring me along with any more of your shenanigans. Jeez, this free, this pay sense of rivalry and suspicion wasn't intended to make you lose sight of the big picture. I'm such a puny little shrimp. I'm not even worth your bother. Tell me, Kameda, why do you belittle yourself so strongly? You say that you're inferior to everyone, but don't you bear the title of the ultimate lucky student? The luck I was endowed with has a particularly nasty tick. Tick? I see. My luck simultaneously, both as the ultimate power and as the ugly defective power that I cannot bend to my will. Bad luck lays the foundation for good luck. The worse the precursory bad luck, the greater the ensuing good fortune. I don't understand. Your expression tells me that. Shall I relate a few of my personal run-ins with ultimate luck? Back in elementary school, I had the bad luck of being on an airplane that got hijacked. We were on the runway, but then a meteorite the size of a large fist just so happened to reach the ground at that moment, <laughs> push through the plane and take out the hijackers. Wasn't that super lucky? Unfortunately, it also struck my parents. They died right before my eyes. Wasn't that super unlucky? But then I inherited a vast fortune from their deaths and was free to live as I wish. Don't you think that turned out extremely lucky in the end? When I was in middle school, more misfortune, I got abducted by a murderer and stuffed in a garbage bag. There was a lotto ticket in the in with the garbage. Luckily, I got rescued. Even more lucky, the ticket was for 300 million yen. So you see, as long as this is the person I am, my luck will always follow this pound. No matter what terrible luck gets thrown my way, good luck is always waiting just beyond on the other side of the spin. The only reason I'm still alive before you is because I've held on to the belief that there will always be that hope or something. Kameda, say Hanada. You and I are kind of similar. I don't sense from you the unique aura that radiates from those with talent. You're more like me. 
We came with the stench of a pathetic observer. It's what puts us on the same wavelength. Well, at least I thought we could relay. I, I am not pathetic. I am not like you. Is that so? Then I guess we can't relay after all. But to be perfectly honest, I still couldn't be happier. I'm overjoyed even that you're willing to take the time to chat with a worthless excuse of a human like me. Don't read too much into it. I am a coward. I'm afraid of what could happen if I dismiss you as someone I simply can't understand. A coward? But it takes courage to try to understand someone different. You really are a person worthy of personifying hope. Uh, I truly wonder what sort like your talent sheds. Well, see you tomorrow. I appreciate your undivided attention. <laughs> <laughs> I must apologize if any of this comes out wrong. Firm with the name, surname Kuzuriyu, I was given the name Furuhiko. I'm still a new fledgling in the family. If you could write this all to your memory, I'd be most obliged. Is it really okay for Kuzuriyu to be up and about? No, he shouldn't be out of bed yet. Okay. One more chapter. Humph. We've only all been here forever. So what's up with the formal gangster intro? So, Sayanji, don't you get it? Or do I have to make it perfectly clear that it's your fault Koizumi died? Scratch that. Not just fixes, but Pekoyama too. It's all your fault. Yeah, you're right. It's all on me. I'm the one to blame for their deaths. Huh? What the heck is that supposed to be? Falling to your knees in some half apology? Think I'll forgive you now? But, but even so... Yeah, that's blood! Isn't it? Yuri knows. What do you think? <coughs> yeah, yes. In m my professional opinion, K Kuzuiyu has split open his own stomach. I, I n know I can't own your f forgiveness like this. But I wouldn't feel right as a Yakuza if I, I didn't. You idiot. You just got out of the hospital. Soda, help me haul this fool back to the clinic. I'm okay, sure thing. But back off. I can walk there. Well, will you make up your mind if you want to live or not? Y yes. Sorry, g guys, for su such a lame and painful... Life ending attempt. Sayanji, I've been asking myself this ever since Koizumi has been gone. At a time like this, what would she say? Since you two were good friends, what do you think? If Koizumi were here, what would she say? I bet she'd get really mad. And then after she got mad. Not to change the subject, but does anyone know where Aurori's been all this time? Now that you mention it, the fact she didn't show up is unsettling. Hmm. Ow! Yeah, I'm not really sure who sent these, you know, but it looks like everyone got an invite. Do you think Manokuma is behind this? N no way! Don't you compare me to that dirty football. Why don't you just say you sent? Eh, I, I don't know. S stop. 
to what you're insinuating. I'm honored that you invited me, but I'd only spoil the mood if I attended the party. No way again. I want all the party people in the house. That means you, too. Anyway, I still have some prep work left. So I got one. See ya later. I mean, see ya there. It's sweet she's holding a recovery party for Kuzuyu. But can our guest of honor really make it after what happened this morning? And all, I don't see Sayanji attending and where's her boy? At any rate, I can't let her kindness towards trash go to waste. Kameda, Mioda invited you? Yep, it's quite the honor. Hey, you guys going in or what? If they got a bouncer, let me handle him. Kuzuiyu. Jeez, you're tough. How can you be walking? Oh, it was just some blood, you know. Yeah, you're going to all this effort on behalf of uh, my dumbness? H how could I blow this party off? Sayanji, I I'm glad you made it. Since you're coming to Kuzu, we use part recovery party. Does that mean you forget? S stupid. What gave you that idea? There's no way I'm going to forgive him so easily. So don't think I'm trying to make up with you. I just decided to take advantage of you, that's all. What? I mean, if push comes to shove, we throw you to the dogs before anyone else. Yeah. Can you guys not stare at me this whole conversation? S sorry, didn't mean to. Ugh. I thought she was putting a curse on us, not inviting us to a party. What's that song she did? I went and popped the baby out, but still no clue who the daddy is. She has a unique sense of taste, doesn't she? Come to think of it, Mioda did say she left her band due to artistic differences. I didn't know Ibuki was in a band. G gentlemen, this is no time to be clubbing. What do you mean? Ovori is fighting Monokuma in a duel on the beach. The, the way things are going, she's gonna... Ovori is fighting Monokuma? Please hurry, they're over at that beach where we first arrived at the island. If you don't come quick, he's gonna kill her. Darn it, I'll never live this down. <clears throat> N need I? It was a mistake to let her out of my sight. A team manager is responsible for knowing his athletes in and out, down to their private life. Don't panic. We can still get there in time. Let's hurry over to the beach. Let's do it. We just got Kuzuriyu back. We ain't losing anyone else. I won't let anyone else die on my watch. G God darn it. Why can't I even land a punch on you? See, if this was a manga for punks, you could hang, but... As this is a manga for pimps, I got powers beyond the grasp of your athletic scholarship. Oh great, there goes the, the fourth wall breaking again. <laughs> Owoi? Was he serious? Owoi can't even touch him. A warrior is faster than any fire or grappler I've ever seen, but none of her attacks have so much as grazed him. How can that even be possible? Isn't she in a bind precisely because it is possible? And now that it's come to this, there's nothing we can do to help. So let's prepare to overcome and use the despair of Avoid that that's fertilizer in a garden of hope. 
Just as Kuzuryu over game. Aw, oh, shut up, you creep. I don't want to go through that nightmare again. I'll risk my life to stop that. Beaver. But, but, um, if you pu push yourself any harder, you really are going to die. Pekko gave away this life to me. I ain't afraid to spend it. <laughs> Stupid. If you're only alive because of her, that's all the more reason to value your life. Now I want everyone to get back. It's my turn to stop. Witness my final burst of fire. Look, see every second of what you are about to see into your minds. <laughs> what he said. Okay, watch this, everyone. <laughs> I warned you when you arrived. What would happen if you defied me? N need I? Ah. Uh, uh. H hang in there. Stay with me, need I? Oh, uh, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> this is some tip top terror bed. <laughs> I was only aiming to kill that rule breaking Aroi, but wound up taking out the perfectly innocent bystander, need I? C kill? Is he? D did need I bite the big one? N no, not yet. It sounds weak, but his heart is still being. He he hasn't left us yet. Wow, I'm truly su surprised. Monokuma, can't you do something for him? You gotta save him, like you did me. You really should. You know, if you wind up killing someone who didn't break the rules, you'll be breaking a rule yourself. Uh, I don't see any fun in letting him die over nothing. <laughs> but this is a special case. I'm gonna make an exception this time. Okay, it's in good pause. Just call me your homicidal quack, Dr. Murder. How evil can you be? You're literally recycling the same panel. Yay, more breaking the fourth wall. Transport this patient to the Monokuma 24-hour urgent care center and check his insurance stat. What's going on? Why did this have to happen so suddenly? It was wonderful to have Kuzuriyu back, but before we knew it, Nidai was taken from us. I, I've had enough. I ca can't take any more of this. Could you all stop making a scene all way? Screaming and crying won't, you, won't do you any good. In case you know, you want to know why it happened, it was because we let our guard down. We were just downplaying the situation we were in by cl claiming we were friends. But look where Nidai's misplaced sense of team spirit got him. It doesn't matter if we show unity or disunity. You, you mean it's irrelevant. It doesn't matter if we help each other. Yeah, because in the end, the weak are going to get picked off. We never identified the traitor. Monokuma said is among us. We still don't remember everything about the past. So how can we say we really know each other? That's why I can't trust any of you. It's that plain and simple. Bye guys.